What's up guys, so the train kid here with another video and today we're going to be outside of the realm of Minecraft and today we're going to be doing our very first review on a N-Gage starter set so here it is is that, is that all in frame? no, that's it's pretty big uh, uh, yeah, it's a big set. So, this is... Wow, well, look at that. Start set. This is Fleischmann. That's what it is. Isn't it? This is my very first set for NBA. See the little engine in there. <laughs> Alright, let's open it up. Wow. Alright, that's a lot of styrofoam. Now, the first thing I see is that big controller. We'll get to that later. Let's have a look at this cute little engine. Oh my god. That is tiny. Focus. Oh my god, look how small that is. Look at the detail on that. The little... oh, there's so much detail just for a starter set. You've got the little whistle, you've got sort of like Rosie from Thomas and Friends. Three different things in well actually is four, four five a little headlamp as well. As I say, Fleischmann Piccolo made in Germany. Wheels. You can see how they get picked up, how the electricity gets picked up from the wheels. <clears throat> is there anything in the cab? No, then let's have a look at the back of it then. It's, it's very detailed, this model, even though it's a starter set. Just taking a moment to... No. <laughs> look at that. And it seems we've got a wagon as well. Look at that. detail on these is incredible. Now I do believe I got this second hand but I've had a look and it seems that everything's here. Everything. But yeah. Now let's take a look at the flat bed car. Oh, look, uh, look at that, there's detail on the bottom. Got metal axles, by the looks of it. Thank God. Doors. Oh my God, this is brilliant. Alright. So then. Let's have a look at this track. Oh, you've got paper these things out. Just to have a look. Like that. You see where the connectors are. Well, now the only thing we have to look at is the controller. Let's just get this out of here without breaking it. <clears throat> oh, that noise. Come on. There we go. 
Oh, that's very hefty. Goes from zero to one hundred and twenty kilometers an hour. Since this is German, I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> model back. I'm assuming that's model controller, but um, no idea. Now, with the power of editing, I am going to set up the track. And I'll be right back. Okay, I was just um, getting the pieces of track out. And I saw this one, it looked pretty cool. Hang on, let it focus. There we go, it's just got these. This is how you connect it. Now I was going to show you how we are meant to do the wiring, apparently. That's how it says in, yeah, on the box, I think. I meant to grab this little wire here. Oh, that's a bit tangled. Hang on. Okay, so I've got it all untangled. So what you're meant to do is push it in to, so the hole, hole comes through. Then you're meant to put that into the hole and then pull it out. And it's pretty secure. Now that's the same for the other one. Uh, yeah, it's pretty secure. And then for the piece of track, what I'm meant to do is push that in and then insert that through the hole, then lift that up. And then same for this one. E. So now that's connected to the track. All right, I'll be right back as soon as the track is done. Okay, I'm back and now we have got this lovely little circle with the controller just here. So, let's get lovely train on the track here. Yeah. Yeah. Hang on. There we go. Let's get the flatbed car, or whatever you call it, the hopper car, I don't know. I can't remember what they're called, what are they call freight cars. <clears throat> now then, let's get this and the flatbed Oh, these are very difficult to cut up. Oh, man. Hey. All right. Let's test. We're going to test the first amplification. Let's just move you a bit. <coughs> what should we go to? <coughs> Sorry, my voice is just. <coughs> All right. Let's Let's put it at 30. Need a little help. Something's happening. Oh. Maybe a bit more. Let's put you at 60 then. Oh. Hey. Move the box a bit. Hey, look at that. Get it. It's a bit rough. That's it at ninety. Yeah. Right, let's see how well she can crawl. Right, we're down to fifty. Put her down to forty. Can she do thirty? Yeah. Back up to fifty. 
a little help there. No. 60. 90. But there we go. Just took a second to go. Oh, this thing's very... Come on. Hey. Now look at that. Now let's see. Can these things cut off on their own without uh, the human hand? Alright. Let's see. Let's forward. A bit of reverse. There. Now we got the first one. Cool. It won't. Uh, there we go. <laughs> now that's at just 70 there. It's an adorable little layout. But if you want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure to like, click, um, subscribe and hit the notifications bell and we can do more reviews on some end gauge sets. But I do have a big a lot of engines of end gauge where they've got a uh, passed down to me by my great granddad after oh there's my cat hello freddy well he's come to say hi freddy <clears throat> but yeah i got a bunch of passed down from my great granddad after he passed so if you want me to do a review, review on all of that then i'd be happy to but I'd still be using this track because it's like my only track that's a loop. So, yeah. That is my first Engage review of the, of the Fleischmann start set. Piccolo 9305. And actually, if you look on the side of the box here, it tells us what sets we need. Well, that's a, that's the set that we got now. Then, if we got the uh, station set, make it that big. And if we got, oh wait, no, hang on. All right, we need nine three oh five and nine one nine three as well. And then, if we wanted to do this one, we need nine three oh five, nine one nine two, and nine one nine three. What people call the Ranger set. But yeah. That is that. And that's... Look at all these illustrations as well. On the box. I didn't really look at the box. I got straight to the engine, didn't I? What was that say? Was that... 15... 21.45. Hmm. That was old. <clears throat> but yeah, now let's just do a little running session, that's upside down, hang on, okay I'll put the box back, now let's just, oh, has it got lighting in the cab? Oh my god it does, if you look carefully enough, I That's way, way too much voltage. <laughs> so, 
our first running session. Now I've just got this at 70 right here but it's a lovely little runner. See how she is in reverse. Took me to, I had to set it to 40 for it to go. But let's set it at 70. That's pretty fast. That's 30. Mm, 20. Yeah, I could do 20. How about? And he's slower than 20. Ah, uh, it just stops. Uh, how much do we need to start it? Well, that's 30. 40? Hey, alright, we need 40 to get it to go. You know what? 50 is a lovely little speed for this little fella. He's adorable. I love it. It's, it's very um, bumpy. The bumpy rider. Huh. Uh, stick at 60 for him now. But, yeah, that's today's video. Thank you guys and everyone for watching. Like, subscribe, hit the notifications bell so you don't miss another video like this. And if you're wanting another Minecraft tutorial, then you can just. just Tell me which train you want in the comments. At Thomas the Tank Engine Real Life. Literally anything, I guess. Just not like um that new um what's it called? All engines go. I I, I despise that. Not trying to annoy anyone, but still I just despise all engines go. <laughs> Alright, thank you for watching. Bye!